Hey everyone. Wow, I just seen that. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is the same day uh, as the video where we installed the alternator in the Suburban. Um, I had the afternoon off of work, so I decided to bang a couple videos out. Uh, today, well right now, we're gonna be in, working on the WRX. Um, I think this might be the last video on the WRX for a while. Um, I don't have any more parts coming in for it. Well, as of right now, um, I will be focusing most of my money into like the buying and selling cars. Uh, so until that makes it, um, the WRX will be on hold. I mean, it'll still be here. I'm not getting rid of it, um, but there might not be no install videos on it. I mean, I think it's come a long way. Uh, it's to where pretty much I want it right now. Um, I still want to do like front mount intercooler, uh, install the J pipe as you see back there by the toolbox right there. Um, there's a few more things I want to do to it, but I just don't have the extra cash right now with everything going into the buying and selling cars. Um, so let's get into today's video. We're going to be installing the, I'm going to butcher this name. I could already see it. Where's the tape? The Veloc Veloasa Tech Big Mouth Snorkel. I know I butchered the name right there. Let me cover that up. Oh, sorry, upside down for you guys. This one, ah, whatever that says, Velo Velasa Tech, but it's the Big Mouth Snorkel for the WRX. Um, it didn't come with really anything. It just that, this, and that. Like, they didn't even give us a sticker. What kind of business is that? No stickers? <laughs> they already suck. Let's see. I've seen a couple videos on this. This is the hardware for it. I've seen a couple videos on this. Uh, a couple other people have done it. I was curious, seeing if maybe if it really works, if it does actually feed more uh, cold air into the car, or is it just like a looks thing? So I guess we'll be the one to find out about it. What is this? Download the instructions. Okay. And again, hardware. And then here's the snorkel itself. Sorry, trying to do this with one hand. Sucks. There we go. Rip the bubble wrap. Um, you can pick like all kinds of different colors. And the different kinds of like uh, mouths. I picked this one. I thought it was gonna be more rounded just to keep the symmetry of like the grill. I kind of wanted it more rounded just to match that, but whatever. I guess I don't know my shapes. But now that will sit back there somewhere. If that's right there. Um, we're going to have to probably adjust the hella horns. Uh, move them around maybe. Get this, especially this one. So we'll end up doing that one to match it. Um, hopefully we can get this to work. Honestly. But I went with the red um, plastic for this. And then the white face on this, just to match that. Uh, the red is because eventually we're gonna have a lot more red stuff in here, like the covers and all that goodness. But this should just mount right over this. Allow more air to come in besides what this is getting through there normally. Uh, this is the Gen 4 Velocitech Big Mouth. So, hopefully. Oh yeah, there's that screw everyone was saying is a pain in the butt to get to. So, <sighs> hopefully we can do this without destroying all kinds of goodness. So I'm going to set you guys up with a time lapse. Um, somewhere in yonder area right here. Uh, we got to get the front bumper off. Um, it's easy, just the things on the bottom. 
a couple little clips, one clip on each side in the fender wells, and then a few clips on the bottom and then the bolts up here. The only thing that sucks of mine is this mount license plate thing. So I got to constantly take that off to get the bumper off and then we'll unplug the fog lights and yeah, see what the hell we got to do to get this in there. So uh, let me get you guys set up and I'll start a time lapse once I start doing all that crap over here. Okay, so it said to take off seven bolts on each side. Um, I don't see needing to do that. I just see you needing to take off one, two, three, four on each side. Cause I did the seven on this side, but that's like for this whole bracket right here. Um, I don't see you needing to do that. So just take off. Here's the cross member like this. You just take off one, two, that one, and that one, those two right there. You don't need to take off all the other ones like it's saying. So there's four bolts on each side you need to take off. Um, as you see, I have the hella horns. So I had to move that one down a little bit. I'm gonna adjust this one a little bit as well. I just pushed it down a little bit. Um, so that way this fits onto there. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. That looks like it's the way it mounts. Um, there's a bolt that goes underneath that I heard's a pain in the butt to get to. So uh, let me go ahead and try adjusting that with the horns and I'll get back to you guys. All right, everyone, everything is put back together. There it is in there. Uh, it sits pretty much right up against the grill. Hopefully I didn't scratch it. Shouldn't have. Um, it sits right up against the grill there. It's a little bit angled like, like that. Um, as you can see right here, it's not against it. Right here, it's pushed right up against it. But I guess that's the way it fits. Um, pretty easy. The bolt they supplied with the nut goes right here through this part. Another bolt with the washer. A little push tab they supplied. And uh, that is pretty much it. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, I liked the look of the horns behind it. Now you can sort of see like right there, you can sort of see the horn and then you really see the horn and then you see the snorkel right there. Uh, I went with white, so it matches the horns and then like the little white stuff I have along the side. And I did the red instead of the black because eventually we're gonna have like all the covers and um, intake piping, front mount intercooler piping, all that's gonna be red. Uh, the fender little garnets right here are going to be red. The alternator covers red. Like basically everything we can get to dress up the motor from like Grim Speed or Perrin or whatever it is. Um, it's all going to be red. So that's why I went with red right here. Um, I also went with red with the intake. You can see it down there. The intake was red as you remember on the last video. Bypass valve is red. Um, so that's the whole reason why I went with red right here. Otherwise, if not, I would have went black. But I have future plans to tie everything together. Uh, easy install. I stopped a few times um, to just mess with like the Suburban. Uh, just mess around. One of my neighbors came over and he's, he knows about air ride suspension. So he's helping me with the Suburban real fast. Uh, but yeah, it took about 
I don't know, I would say about 45 minutes uh, to get all that installed and put together. And I mean, we'll see if it actually works, if it actually does anything. Um, I'm kind of iffy right now, like I said, on the look. I like the look of it just with the horns right there. And now we got that. Um, but I mean, if it does what it's supposed to do and gets colder air into the intake, I'm all for it. That's more power. Colder air in is more power. So as long as it works, I'm good. Um, they had another one on the market, but uh, it didn't cover like right here. It didn't cover like this whole thing right here. It was basically just like a piece that came right here. And then a little like scoop um, that would come up to the grill. Uh, I didn't really like that style. Um, Ron from Portland actually had it on his car before he got rid of the WRX. And he went with this one too. Just because it's a better style, it actually encloses everything. You got a good seal. So it actually pumps the air into this, which and then goes into the intake. So, all in all, uh, as long as it does what it's supposed to do and gets me more cold air, that's all I would care about. Uh, this part was uh, $189 on their website, the Velosa, Velosa Tech. I know I'm butchering it, but it was $189 on their website, had it shipped. Uh, it took about four or five days to get here. But yeah, we'll see um, if it does anything or not. On their website, they have like graphs that show like the power increase and the more air increase and stuff like that. Um, they actually did a lot of research into this snorkel. That's why I went with this one over the other ones that are out. But yeah, that's it. Just another little install video. Next video, uh, like I said, will most likely be about something with the auction or another auction car. Um, I think we're pretty much done with the WRX for a while until I get money uh, flowing in again. With the auction car, I can't afford to do both. Um, if I'm pouring money into the cars from the auction and trying to sell them, I can't then to buy parts for the WRX. I mean, that shit's expensive. That's why I started doing the auction stuff um, just to have more money so we could put more parts and finish this car up and maybe uh, get another car for a project car for the channel. Um, that way, this is not just my main transportation. I have another vehicle, but we'll see. So uh, comment down below what you guys think of the snorkel. If you like it, if you don't like it, uh, hit that subscribe button. Until the next video, guys, thank you. I appreciate you. Stay safe. Peace.